everyone, it's Melanie from Living Luxuriously for Less, where we celebrate, decorate, and enjoy everyday life for less. So in today's video, I wanted to share with you guys some sample setups for buffets and dessert tables as we approach wedding season and graduation season. So once you start designing a buffet or a dessert table, the first thing you want to consider is the size of the table and everything that you have to include on that table, whether it's cakes or cookies or candy, you know, whatever that is, you want to go ahead and pull those containers and set them up so that you can be sure that once you start to design that table, that you have a container for all of the candies, all of the desserts or foods that you may have um, for that particular table. The next thing you want to consider is the backdrop. Are you gonna use a natural backdrop, a floral backdrop, a paper flower backdrop? Will you, you know, DIY a backdrop using items from the Dollar Tree? You know, just look at the different elements that you want to add. For this particular backdrop, I added in some bling pieces, from totallydazzle.com to really bring this, you know, um, dessert table to life. Since it was it was a mock table for a wedding reception, I wanted to make it a little bit elegant, so I made sure that that happened. The next thing that you want to consider is the, the containers that you're using. You want them to match with each other or you want them to coordinate with each other. So on the white, you know, since I had the bling around the um, cake pedestals and dessert pedestals, I wanted to bring that bling also in the backdrop. And then I also made sure that the cookie stands were white as well. Now on the when you're designing for a food backdrop, you want to make sure you start off your desserts, you know, your area with the, um, the plates or the napkins, and then you want to go on from there. Now, the next thing I want to con to consider or talk about is when you're designing your dessert area, you want to see if it's going to be the focal point of the room and how it you want to also make sure that it coordinates with the rest of the decor now when I first started out doing dessert tables um, I used to do full tables and tablescapes and things of that nature but as I progressed on I realized that I wanted to you know just add different functionality so in this one I used three columns from the Hobby Lobby and these columns were relatively inexpensive they blended well with the decor that I use on the table as you guys can see here these are the very popular lemon plates that were once at the Dollar Tree um, they're not back yet this year but keep your eyes open in case you're interested in them but they correlated very well with my dessert station so a dessert station doesn't always have to be a table it can be three columns from the Dollar Tree I mean three columns from Hobby Lobby it could be um, you know in front of a balloon backdrop you, the possibilities are really limitless so you just want to kind of think about what you want that section to look like overall and then put in those you know added elements to bring it all together so if you're doing like a small cake or uh, cake pops you don't need a full table it will make the table look empty you can just use the columns and then use that small dessert station as your focal point for the party or for the event and in this case it turned out exceptionally well um, because it was hot outside we didn't want it to melt so we were able to set these things up quickly right before the party started and then we did not have to worry about the cake and cupcakes melting as the party carried on now when you're planning a let's say a graduation party and all of your food is going to go on one table I recommend putting your desserts in the center of the table and then your hot food and your cold foods on either side of it because your your desserts in that point can focus uh, double um, serve as a as a focal point or a centerpiece for your dessert table so that's exactly what I did when I decorated this um, graduation party 
on last year. I used the desserts for the focal point and it kind of blended with the centerpieces and the setup for the remaining of the party for the graduation. So if you guys have a senior graduating this year, I have a complete playlist that has all of my graduation party ideas and setup to help you get through this graduation season. You just want to make sure that you, um, you know, keep it very simple and adhere to all COVID guidelines. Now, speaking of COVID guidelines, when you're set, um, setting up a buffet for a wedding, you want to make sure that you adhere to those guidelines, but also keep it beautiful. Buffets for weddings can be beautiful. The first thing you want to start out with are your cold foods. And then as you move down the line, you can move down the line with your hot foods. Now, some people do hot and then cold, but I prefer to do all the cold things and then end up with the hot things, but it's just a matter of preference, um, I guess. And so I started out with the fruit because everyone could just kind of have a fruit cup. It was individually packaged and it worked out really well. Now, if you're doing like a movie night at your house, you could just set up a dessert station using just movie night foods and you can get every single thing from the Dollar Tree. The most recent trend is doing dessert stations or buffets on non-traditional things like um, dressers or um, you know, using dresser drawers to put flowers out of them, pull, you know, put them on, on those areas and columns. You've seen me use columns at this Disney themed party and, you know, it turned out absolutely amazing. I thought it was such a gorgeous display against that black wall and we were able to just kind of spread the desserts out. It just looked so absolutely amazing and that is probably one of my favorite styles to use to date because you can travel with it very easily and then you have the charcuterie boards that are very popular now i can't take credit for this work but this was actually an event that i attended and chef alan noble created this it was absolutely gorgeous, a beautiful board. I just thought it was well presented and it is definitely an option, especially like I would probably put one at every table for your guests if you're gonna have like a graduation party or something of that nature so that people that are from the same family are eating from the same board and not everybody at the party. When you're displaying desserts these days, I highly recommend that the desserts are individually packaged. And that is one thing I loved about the treats that were used as favors for my cousin's baby shower. My cousin Trina made sure that each one was individually packaged and you didn't have to worry about people picking over all of those things at the baby shower. It worked out extremely well. Now, this is the centerpiece from my cousin's baby shower, but right to the left of that was the dessert station. And I, again, used the columns because I love the circles. I love, you know, that it just kind of blended, blended with the centerpiece that was also a circle and their sweetheart table that was also a circle. So just kind of step out of the box when it comes to you know what you're going to use for your dessert station you're just not limited to a square table or round table anymore look at different columns and things like that especially with it being summertime there are so many plant stands that are in the shape of columns and so many different things that you can use so i hope you guys enjoyed this video and enjoyed all of my tips and ideas on how to set up a um, buffet or dessert station for all of your upcoming events let me know your favorite setup down in the comments below and thank you guys again so much for watching and until next time it's melanie with living luxuriously for less cheers